What's going on, the friends? My name is MJ Jets, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Funia: Dawn of the New World. In the last episode, we got we we are exploring the Triet Ruins, and now in this episode, we are actually right here at the end of Triet Ruins. So, let's see what we got inside. Looks like a Lair of the Centurions core seems. Here we go again. Again? So then I guess you've already seen my sister in Ruin Mode. Ruin Mode? Rain's an absolute maniac about ruins, ancient civilizations, and stuff like that. I'm not a maniac, I'm a researcher! Huh, yeah, right, right. Anyway, she always gets like this when she sees ruins. Hey, that's just like Emil when he's in his Rabbitosk mode. Wait a minute. I'm not sure those two things have much to do with each other. Marta, I want to see the ritual for hatching a centurion. Perform it! R right! Ignis is now awake. As Ignis's powers return, Emil, as a knight of Ratatosk, you should also awaken to new powers. So, um, now we need to recruit fire elemental monsters. That would gradually bring back Ignis's powers. And I should get stronger too, right? this in order to save this world. We have to find all of the Centurion's cores so that we can wake up Ratatosk. Please, give us Lumen's core. All right, that's enough. Hand over Ignis's core. Marta, we have to take back Lumen's core by force. Why even try to reason with this murderous man who killed innocent people in Palma Costa in cold blood? Come on, Lloyd. You have to tell them. Tell them that you didn't attack Palma Costa. All of these rumors about you. You didn't do any of that stuff, right? <sighs> Lloyd, please answer me! Yes, Lloyd. Is there something you can't tell us? What is it? Or perhaps the rumors about you are true. I don't have to answer you. Now then, hand over the Centurion's core. If you refuse me, I won't hesitate to take it by force. But Lloyd! Why? For those you killed! Die! You still have much to learn. Doesn't look good. That monster is blind with rage. Damn it! Here it comes! Oh, I hate this bat I hate this battle so much. Uh, I, I screwed up so many times like, against this guy on my on my practice file. That's how annoying. That's how annoying this boss is. What? Marta die already? Oh my gosh, that that really sucks. 
You, now, usually what I like to, usually what I rely on most of the time is if I'm in such a really bad situation, uh, I usually use my unison attack so that as then Rain could uh, heal, can uh, t uh, t uh, tag team with me to um, uh, to heal to heal up everybody fully. So I'm going to actually use uh, my unison attack on. Uh, okay, well not on him. Oh, not on the, not on the uh, jabber, but uh, on the, uh, the the tree thing. But uh, okay, whatever. All right. Uh, these jabbers uh, heal HP for after uh, every moment, so definitely want to want definitely want to watch out for that. Oh my God. Ah. Uh, the worst part is that that is that that mo is that the um, that tree thing do does like so much damage. There's even a really powerful attack he does that does like 400 damage if it managed to actually land. So you de so you definitely want to be careful about that. Okay. Um, let me activate another unit attack right here. See that that that's how awesome Rain's unit attack is. It heals the whole party up, that, which is really which is really awesome. I I don't I think it heals. Um, I think it heals uh, uh, TP as well. Uh, if, if I if I if I don't know, I didn't pay, I didn't quite pay attention to the TP. All right, come on. I, I should, I, okay, okay, this is okay. This guy's almost dead. I did uh, level up Emil off screen by a level, uh, so I should be able to to take to take him out uh, pretty um, easier than my practice boss. Cause I was on level 19 when I when I fought him on, uh, during practice. What? That does that much damage? Really? Wow. That is that is really bad. Come on, Rain, heal me up, and in, in process, I'll heal up uh, Marta. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, I hate this boss so much. It it, it, it block. It does a lot of blocking. But it won't block. It won't block for long, as, as, I, as I will as I will do all, all I can to take, to take you out. All right, here we go. Use another use attack, and uh, okay. Well, okay. Well, ten hits isn't that bad. Okay. Oh gosh. You want to make sure you you, you 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 have you you do have a lot of items or or better yet a lot of um yeah you want to make sure you have a lot of items and and, and a lot of power to, to to take this guy out. Uh, this guy's annoying. Come on, come on, come on! You gotta heal up, Genus. Genus is almost down. Oh man, that was close. Genus is almost down right there. That could have been really bad for him. I really like this boss music. Probably my favorite uh, boss name. Well, besides the uh, music that plays when we were when we were fighting Alice. Okay. Oh gosh. No! Oh my God! Yes! Thank good. Thank goodness. Rain, rain uh, t uh, t tagged with me w w um, on that. Okay. Uh, oh, I hate the stats effect. The stats effect right right here. If you if you have that red symbol by your name, that means it's called sick. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's not as terrifying as poison, but but it is, but it is pretty bad. Oh my god, we oh, oh my god, we got him. We got him. We we got him. We got him. Come on. Yes, we got him. Oh my god, that was close. You depend on me. Thanks. Monster. It must have followed us all the way from the entrance. Yeah, I think you're right. Lloyd ran off when he heard its roar. Damn it. It may be too late, but let's go after Lloyd. Right. Before we leave, we got Lloyd's mask. Ratatask mode, huh? It can't be easy making a pack that changes your whole personality on top of giving you new powers. Indeed, 
I'm sure Emil has his hands full simply controlling the power he receives from Ratatosk, which is why he often can't control his own emotions. Then he's just like Rain when she's in ruin mode, giving in to her desires, unable to control her maniac urges. Ow, that hurts! Just like me, could that mean he has another self sealed away inside him? If so... What's wrong? It's nothing. Okay, let's uh, equip uh, Ignis's power. What the heck? Uh, hmm. I guess we're gonna get rid. I guess we're we'll get rid of Ventus and have Ignis instead. I guess. No! Such an invaluable cultural treasure. These poor ruins. Here comes ruin mode. Rain truly is a multifaceted individual. Are you really that upset that the ruins are ruined? Whoa, Emil, careful what you- Of course I am! Do you mean to say you're unaware of the cultural, the historic, the scientific value of the Tree at Ruins? <laughs> <laughs> Listen closely. The Tree at Ruins first came to prominence two regenerations ago, when the spirit Ifrit summoned his hellfire and- Oh, great. We're in for it now. <laughs> Okay, so then I don't have to fight that boss again. I guess I'm gonna have to save. Uh, I'm gonna save over this file. So I guess Emil really has it in for Lloyd, huh? You still believe in him even after you saw how he behaved? Here's what I think. Lloyd wouldn't be doing these things without some reason. I guess. I had a friend I failed to believe in at the final moment when it mattered most. That's why I've got to find Lloyd and hear what he has to say. I won't give up till I've talked with him. We'll see if my trust in him holds up after that. I'm jealous of you, Tinas. Huh? I could never do anything like that. Confronting someone that you know has changed? It's too much for me. Did you hear that? That sounded like a Rayard. That's the flying thing Lloyd uses, right? Correct. That was the sound of it taking off. It seems he's already gotten away. If only we hadn't returned the ones we had before. You mean Lloyd's not the only one with a Rayard? We had them too, but we gave them back to their owner once the journey of world regeneration ended. Though it looks like Lloyd's borrowed one again. The fact that Lloyd can fly anywhere puts us at a big disadvantage in the race for the Centurion's cores. But if he knew the cores were at the same places as the Summon Spirits, he would be finding them much more quickly. He must not have realized it yet. That might work to our advantage. I won't lose to him. Amiel, hold on. What happened in Paul Macosta? That's just not Lloyd. It's not just about what happened in Palma Costa. What do you mean? He wouldn't even explain himself to you. He's hurting his own friends. Genus, Rain, Colette, all of you are good and kind. Good people who are worried about him. He should be honored just to have friends like you. Emil. Thanks for being concerned about us. Regardless, Lloyd was never the sort to turn his back on his friends. Snowing. The Centurion's cores are as powerful as summon spirits. I wonder if this means the weather around here will return to normal. The snow will stop, but things won't truly return to their natural state until Lord Ratatosk awakens. Rain, can I ask you something? Certainly. What is it? 
Can you tell me where all the summon spirits are located? You're going to look for the Centurion's cores then. The only way that we can stop the strange weather and avoid the destruction of the world is by hatching the Centurions and waking Ratatosk. The cores are the reason we were following Lloyd in the first place. The closest location is the cave where we found Celsius. It's near Flanor. As for the others, here, I'll mark them on your map. Emil, is it alright with you if we go to Flanor instead of following Lloyd? That's fine, since in order to avenge everyone, I'll need to get a lot stronger first. Rain, what about us? Are we going to leave Lloyd like that? Now that we're together, maybe it would be best to see what else we can find out about Lloyd. Okay, I'm with you, Rain. Then we'll accompany you to the port in Azuld. We can figure out our next move once we arrive there. Then let's head for Azuld together. Yep, looks like you won't be rid of us just yet. Alright, Izzuld. A fishing port known for seafood products and mysterious incidents are currently occurring. <sighs> Too small for me, I'm afraid. Huh? A size four, that is. <laughs> Rain! Ready when you are. Prismic Star! Oh. Hey Marta, what's Izzuld like? It's a small seaside town that thrives on fishing. They have the second largest yearly catch in all of Silverant. The different seafood products they make there are known the world over. And everyone who visits buys Azuld's most famous souvenir, red blowfish cakes. Wait, why do I know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> Lady Marta, you have discovered one of the Centurion of Darkness's seven hidden talents. I call it Midnight Hypno Study. It would appear my hours of whispering random facts in your ear as you sleep have finally paid off. Isn't that sort of a useless, hidden talent? Seriously! Brainwash me into knowing something useful next time! Isuld. What's wrong, Rain? You look sort of pale. It's nothing. I just have some bad memories of it. It may not be much, but I'll do what I can to protect you. Thank you. Though some things you can't really protect against. Calm down, Marta. Count to ten. Marta? Are you okay? I'm fine. I made up my mind. Things are different between us now. So, I'll just... Being popular is no cakewalk, huh? <laughs> Let's take a moment to rest here. Good idea. Come to think of it, I'm pretty hungry. Okay, I'll fix us some food. Perhaps I could help. I'll help too. Uh, maybe it'd be best if you two set this one out. People are going to eat this food after all. What did you say? Just what do you mean by that? I'd say it, but I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Hey, Emil, can you get some firewood? Sure. Emil. Richter! Behind you! Huh? Stay on your guard, you fool! It's coming!
That was scary. So that's Ratatosk's power? Uh, yes. Looks like that last monster had a kid. Wait! What? It's not attacking us. What's the harm in letting it live? <sighs> Please! You're so naive. Richter, Ratatosk isn't a demon lord. If you just listen to what Marta and Tenebrae have to say, you'd... Ratatosk is my enemy. Why? <sighs> Those flashbacks, what man. What is... Emil. What's wrong? I, I don't know. I've been having... These strange visions. Memories. Memories? Where you're trying to kill me, and... Uh, Easy. Don't try to talk. It's going away. Hmm. You should hurry back to Marta and get some rest. I'll let the two of you go. For today. Why are you being so nice to me? I don't recall being nice. Now get out of my sight before I change my mind. Okay. And don't worry about those visions. It was probably a dream. They say dreams where you die are good luck. Richter! Go already! Right! Took you long enough. Yeah, I got attacked by this monster. Oh, are you hurt? No, sorry if I made you worry. So, where's the firewood? Uh, I'm sorry. I guess no fire.